that we are following this half hour. A Dartmouth College student from Delaware was found dead in New Hampshire in the river this weekend. And tonight we know investigators are looking into the possibility that he was the victim of hazing. Action News reporter Leland Pinder tonight with the full story. Juan Jang graduated from Middletown High School and was a student at Dartmouth. Two Greek organizations there have now been suspended amid a hazing investigation. Police said Jang was last seen around 930 Saturday night. Nearly 24 hours later, his body was found in the Connecticut River. New Hampshire police are probing the death of a Dartmouth College student from Delaware. Juan Jang of Middletown was reported missing when he failed to show up for an engagement Sunday. Authorities found his body around 730 that evening in the Connecticut River. Of course, I was very upset when we first got the news. Friends spoke with ABC affiliate WMUR and are remembering the 20 year old biomedical engineering student as police investigate his death. Juan was always an amazing guy. I, I don't think there was ever a time where I didn't see him uh, without a smile on his face. Law enforcement say Jang had attended a fraternity sorority gathering on the docks of the river prior to his disappearance. There is some evidence of some some alcohol involved, uh, certainly from witnesses and, and talking to things like that. Dartmouth has now suspended the Beta Alpha Omega fraternity and Alpha Phi sorority and police are looking into hazing allegations. We did receive an anonymous email this morning through the college that they may be some hazing involved, so certainly we will look into that after aspect of two. Dartmouth says both of those organizations had faced previous alcohol related disciplinary action. We did reach out to their fraternity but have not heard back. In a statement, Dartmouth said the entire Dartmouth community is grieving over the tragic loss of Juan Jang. Our counseling team has been by the family's side since yesterday and Dartmouth is providing every possible support it can to Juan's parents, family and friends. Right now, there's no word on any arrest or possible charges in this case. In Middletown, Delaware, Leland Pinder for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. New Jersey.